To set up the regional COVID model for your region, uh, you need to put in some basic data. The first piece of information you need to put in is the population of the region split by age group. And uh, click on this item here and the lookup table for the age group numbers comes up on the right hand side. You enter the numbers as, as actual values. And the software will display that value in millions or thousands, uh, depending on the scale of the number. M for millions, K for thousands. Group 0 are the 0 to 9 year olds. Group 1, the 10 to 19 year olds. Group 2, the 20 to 29 year olds and so on. And we finish with the 80 plus year olds. Don't put anything in this last uh, box for, for uh, group 9. The reason that uh, population distribution is important is because mortality from COVID-19 varies considerably by age group. Uh, the lookup table below that actually uh, describes that mortality rate for anyone who gets COVID-19 in each age group. And you can see that the very youngest have a very, very low mortality rate indeed. As you go up, it gets uh, substantially greater until the 80 plus year olds are very uh, vulnerable to uh, die from COVID-19 indeed. Now this particular mortality profile is pretty typical of uh, more affluent parts of the world. It may well be that for your particular region, if there are very high rates of uh, poverty or other diseases, that the mortality rates, let us say for the 40 to 49 year olds here, uh, would be higher than the 0.15% that's in for our base case. So by all means, change that mortality rate uh, by age group if you have good reason to believe that it's different for the region which you are examining. The last item to complete in this section concerns the number of infected people who arrived in the first place and actually brought the virus to your region and triggered the outbreak. And you do that by clicking the circle object at the bottom of that section. That brings up a uh, chart on the right hand side, which is the number of people per day who arrived. And uh, the uh, default uh, that you start with is 10 people per day arriving for two months. That's actually 60 days there at the beginning of that time series. So you have uh, various ways of putting data in here. You can simply sketch a different shape to that curve and uh, the simulation will adopt those new numbers that you've sketched in. If you don't like that sketch and want to start completely from new, click clear sketch and then you can say well I think 20 people arrived at about uh, the end of February. So that's uh, 20 people arrived there. And you can see as we do this the model is showing what's happening to the numbers of uh, cases and deaths that arise really rather later after those people arrived and brought the infection in. Maybe if 20 people per day continued to arrive for some days, it would have a bit more of an effect. Uh, your other option is to type numbers actually directly into the sketched data series down here at the bottom, or you can put a formula in. Let's put a formula in that says pulse 300 on day 30. Uh, and that brings a pulse of 300 people in on day 30. And you notice that that formula now means that the model is ignoring the sketched data that you put in before.